All right, here is our last question. Sorry, it's a little blurry. My phone is not really focused. Okay, here we go. And it asks, what is the, mo what is the molecular weight of acetic acid with the element CH3COOH? Well, we know that we have two carbons, so we're going to multiply the uh, atomic weight of carbon by two, since you have one carbon here and another carbon here. We know that we have three hydrogens with this uh, carbon over here, so CH3, and then we have this other hydrogen over here bonded to this oxygen atom. So we have methane with COOH. So we're going to calculate the amount of hydrogens that are present. So we have three hydrogens com bonded to this carbon over here, but then we have this other hydrogen at the end bonded to that oxygen atom. So we're going to add another one. So really it's times four. Alright, so we know we have hydrogen times four. And we are left with two oxygen atoms, so oxygen is going to be multiplied by two. Now when you go to your periodic table, you see that carbon right here has an atomic weight of 12.011. So we're going to go back to our drawing board and do 12.011 multiplied by two since there are two carbons in acetic acid and we'll do the same for the next two elements for hydrogen we know that the atomic weight is 1.008 since there are four of them we're going to multiply that by four and oxygen's molecular weight we know is 15.999 since we're using uh, since we're, we're using decimals, we'll calculate the sig figs in the end. Alright, so we're going to multiply that by 2. Alright, since there are two oxygen atoms in um, acetic acid. And so, we add all of those numbers up. So when you do, we're going to clear this out, 12.011 times 2 gives us 24.022 alright we'll write that off to the side 24.022 alright next we'll do the amount of hydrogens that are in the atom so 1.008 times 4 gives us 4.032 and then we have 15.999, which is oxygen, times 2. And that gives us 31.998. All right, we'll add all of these up together. And our total comes out to be 60.052 and that will be the molecular weight for acetic acid. Now if if you'd like we could probably just keep it with four significant figures um, and leave it at 60.05 and um, that is how you calculate the molecular weight for acetic acid.